Aloha and welcome to Think Tech Hawaii's Connecting Hawaii Business. My name is Kathleen Lee, your host for today and wherever you're watching this from, whether it's the afternoon, like how it is in Hawaii, the evening or the morning, we welcome you to the show. Um, this is live streamed on the Think Tech Hawaii website on thinktechhawaii.com as well as on Think Tech Hawaii's Facebook page. So today we have a very special guest on the show, my friend, Ben Eager. A little bit about Ben. I met him through the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii's Young Professionals Program years ago, and I have seen him develop himself and his businesses. So, you know, I'll let him go into that, but let me go ahead and welcome Ben Eager to the show. Hey, Ben. Well, uh, thank you for having me. Of course. So tell our viewers about yourself, a little bit of your personal as well as your professional background. And then we can launch into our theme of the show, which is um, connecting, you know, multiple businesses and your expertise to help people out. Yeah, okay. First of all, thank you so much for having me. I know right now at this time, especially during COVID, you know, it's so important to support local business. So I really appreciate that, you know, the opportunity. But yeah, so I'm, uh, yeah, my name is Ben. I'm uh, uh, 39 years old. Uh, I came to Hawaii about 12 years ago as a student. I started economics and then um, uh, pretty much fell in love with Hawaii. I went back to write my uh, thesis at Mercedes-Benz uh, in Germany to that point of time, got a job offer, declined that and said, no, I want to do my MBA at HPU, which was a uh, um, you know, just a, a great opportunity because it was my dream since I was 19 when I didn't even know what uh, MBA means, but I was like, I want that, you know? So, uh, yeah, so then I got my uh, MBA at HPU. I went a uh, semester to Korea, studied Japanese, and then I had the opportunity to start my life and my career here. Um, a little bit about it, so I just, you know, I just was uh, hired as a financial specialist, so, you know, I did investment, insurance planning, and those kind of things, uh, until I left about two years uh, later, so where I was already introduced to the, to the chamber, so we were like one of the, um, by that point, I was a little bit younger, actually, and then we were part of the, the YPs, the, the uh, you know, that was just an amazing time, it was really mm -hmm. a fun time, and you know, I got to know lots of people. In the Rotary Club too. That's how I found the Rotary during that point of time already. And then um, what happened then? Yeah, I left. I came into uh, my friend's business, a fellow Rotarian. Uh, her name is Glenda Anderson. She owns Details International, a small interior design firm. And I had the opportunity to support her with her business and get to know interior design, kitchen and bath design. Uh, there, I developed skills. Um, not only on the interior design and, and, and staging and uh, uh, those kind of color consultation, but also on more um, you know, physical skills. Like I became a, a certified installer for Miele appliances. It's a high-end appliance on the island. So that was um, a lot of fun. It was one of the few on the island that have that certification by that point of time. It was really good. And then I, I delivered her cabinetry I was like, hey man, this is like something that I really enjoy doing. And so from then, um, I told Glenda, hey, I, I, I do appreciate it and I love you and stuff like that, but I want to do my own business. So uh, I started a moving and installation business. Um, I fell in love with that. You, it's kind of weird because people now always think like, oh, you have an MBA. I seem like my friend, he has an MBA and owns a cleaning business, right? And you think like, hey, you wouldn't expect it, right? But uh, I fell in love with that industry, so I founded Ohana Delivery Moving Installation Services. That's and what ODMI stands for. I, I always wondered what ODMI stands for. What is it again? Ohana Delivery and Moving Ohana Services. Ohana Delivery Moving and Installation Services. Got it. Okay, keep going. So actually, that friend that I'm talking about, his name is Shota, uh, uh, he actually, we were sitting at his uh, office, and when I said, like, you know, I... I Really happy I started Admis, and he was like, "It's a little bit a long name, don't you think?" And I know in America, um, you know, people love acronyms. So I was like, "Hey, you know what? I'm call it Admis." Uh, my best friend did the uh, design for it, logo design, uh, my mascot, and everything. And the company uh, grew very fast, very quick. Um, 
I had the, op you know, I was really blessed. So thank you uh, for my beautiful, wonderful network on the island. And then also uh, for the hard work and stuff like that. People got to know us and, uh, you know, I had a contract with the, uh, Best Buy and lots of other, um, you know, bigger retailers and those kind of things uh, beside of all my, you know, local customers. Um, how did you get into, because um, that's a big deal, how did you get a contract with Best Buy and kind of work us through that? Because here's, you know, this individual that, you know, is born and raised in Germany, comes to Hawaii, <laughs> learns all these trades and suddenly starts up a, let me take that back, not suddenly, but, you know, worked so hard to start his business and then he ends up partnering up with Best Buy. How does that happen? Yeah, well, that was kind of funny, you know, because... It, not many people know, but when you're going to talk about it, you're going to laugh about it because uh, I became an, uh, you know, a certified installer um, for, for Miele appliances. It's factory certification. And so I uh, started my business and I called literally Viking and other, uh, you know, high-end appliances because I was uh, um, with Subzero and uh, Wolf, uh, another certification that I have that I work closely with on the island. Uh, a company is called Rick's Distributing. Super company, amazing people. So shout out to them. Uh, appreciate you guys too. Bob Riggs, an amazing man, the owner. Um, but yeah, really quick, um, I called Viking and I told them, I was literally just four months in business, right? So I was just uh, literally just somebody, right? It's just somebody from Hawaii that's just, you know, just hustling and working hard, right? So I called them, I told them, hey, I want to, um, uh, I have a, I'm a media certified installer on the island. Uh, what do you guys have a certification for Viking appliances? And they said, uh, no, we don't, but I take your information. Um, and that's it. So basically the Best Buy headquarter on the mainland was talking to Ma Viking management and said by that uh, point of time, they needed a, an installer on island. And she said, well, I just talked to the young man. He was like really nice and certified with Miele and just gave them uh, my phone number and they called me up. They asked if I was interested and uh, everything evolved from that. So we started small and uh, um, it was a good partnership. So I appreciate it. So, um, I left, however, my business for a little while. And, it, you know, I went to, uh, I had an opportunity to manage a large size company, Coleman Hawaii Movers, wow. a very big company. So, so a big opportunity and I appreciate that opportunity as well that I have the uh, chance to do so. Wonderful people, um, the owners, just great people there in Alabama. Uh, so I managed the uh, service center. Um, however, you know, it was pretty much, um, uh, you know, I left after about um, almost about two years, a little bit less than that. Yeah. I went back to, I got my real estate license. It was last year. Um, and it, it is different from being an entrepreneur, running your business to, to being employed. Let's say it that way. So I, I'm, um, I enjoy, you know, I really enjoy doing it and having the opportunity to run a business and then to do it my own. It's just something to create something. It's just something that I feel more fulfilled. Beside that real estate, um, that I do now is a, um, you know, basically full-time beside a full-time admin. Uh, it's kind of like two full-time things. I kind of combine it, I guess we'll talk about it. Um, uh, because you need it, you, you know, so it's, it's just a service that I offer. Um, yeah, but it just came everything like step-by-step step in, in hand. So since uh, last year I do, um, I came into real estate, I found to Remax Platinum uh, this year, an amazing broker, uh, Chris Fidelibus, is awesome guy, uh, love him, he's uh, uh, good hearted and uh, he's a fellow Rotarian, um, that's what attracted me really much in, in, in his, his personality, it's, a, it's still, a, it's already pretty big, it's 50 agents, right, so um, it's a nice brokerage, Remax is a good place, good, strong foundation. Um, and so far I'm doing good. So I combine it a little bit, you know, I offer um, moving service to my clients, uh, and, you know, uh, in, a, in a very specialized way. So that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, it goes hand in hand. So here I am today, uh, just um, 
yeah, that's personally a little bit like my mom. You know, I told her like when I started uh, 12 years ago, I told her mom because her, um, uh, she went through a lot and I want to make her life happy. And so I told her like, mom, stay strong. Everything will be good. So it took me eight years until I brought her to Hawaii. I brought her to Hawaii. She's uh, here for the last three years. Um, and just very blessed to, to have her here to care for me. So, so let's do a summary of everything that you have said so far. <laughs> so you, you, you've done insurance as well, yes? So yeah. you've done insurance. Um, you started your own company, which is Oddmus, and you also work for a moving company as their general manager. So all these are, you know, experiences and then now your fourth thing that you have mentioned to me that you want to focus on is real estate, combining everything else that you have. Um, how or why did you choose real estate? And then, um, so just go over that and then we'll go into like how you're able to service your clients with your background. So why real estate? Very, very, very simple. So real estate, to be, to, to, to be in real estate, it's not, a real estate business. It's a people business. Um, there's a lot more about it, of course, contracts and you know and those kind of things. Of course, very it's, it's complex um, knowledge. But at the end of the day, it's just being with people and making a difference in people's lives. Uh, I truly believe that I can apply my skills to um, the real estate business. Uh, it it goes from from management to contract negotiation. Uh, you know, all those kind of things, is, it goes hand in hand. Beside of that, you know, staging places, setting them up for a successful, um, uh, you know, uh, um, a sale in, in, and so forth. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So doing, doing moving and, and, and um, uh, real estate. Beside that fact, I truly love both. So it's just, you know, it's, I, I stopped for a little while the last year. I, did not do it, and I just every truck that passes by on the road, I always say that's my voice, that's my voice, and I can't do anything about it. It's just uh, it, I know they're not my voice, all of them, right? But it's just uh, I just feel so closely connected to to that industry, and I just enjoy doing it. So now I can um, my clients know they have a hands-on guy. So I just you know if anything needs to be lifted, I lift it. If uh, if I get if I have a suit. I get dirty, I get dirty. You know, that's just how I, how I work. You know, it's just, I never, I never gonna be that perfect, you know, suit person. It's just, you know, it's just, you know, tell me, move that, I move it right away, right? And so I, not only, like, it's a lot more than moving, it's installation and those kind of things. But basically, um, you know, the, the real estate is something that I really enjoy, helping people. Um, the work in the real estate industry is super fun. It's a lot of great people. And lots of I can utilize my network too of contractors. The years of working with contractors, what it takes uh, to. I just had a, a condo that was that was sold just uh, a few weeks ago, um, and it goes through a complete remodel and then setting up and giving more advice on the remodel and and finding uh, the right people to do so and all those kind of things goes hand in hand. That's awesome, Ben. I want you to go more into that. Um, we are going to go on break, but just to remind everyone, this is a live stream. And if you have questions for Ben, you can send them to questions at thinktechhawaii.com. We will be right back after the break. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii's Connecting Hawaii Business. My name is Kathleen Lee, and our guest on the show today is Ben Eager. It's so funny because when I had asked him to confirm the pronunciation of his last name, he said it's it's eager, like eager to help. And, and that's who he is as a person as I've known him. So when we left off, he was talking about how he had all this background and starting his own business and managing a, a big company and now going into real estate. So Ben, let's, let's go over some of the challenges that you have faced so far as someone who um, has all this background. What are the challenges that you have been facing, especially with the pandemic? The pandemic, yeah. Well, the pandemic is, is certainly put a lot of hardship on, on, on all people. When I say all people, I talk Hawaii, right? So, uh, so much, so much was going on during, you know, so many people lost their, their job. And, but on the other side, um, beside of all the, the tragic, um, I used that time for, um, you know, I'm a very positive person, so I can't just, uh, you, you, you know, I just, I felt I just get up and just walk and continue walking. It's just, uh, I, and that's what I would recommend everybody to do. You know, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, um, luckily, um, the real estate industry and uh, also um, my my moving and installation business is certainly uh, something that um, people have a need for. It's a continuous need. Uh, um, and so that is something that is, I feel it's not like, you know, somebody took it like uh, the restaurants, nobody could go in the restaurants. Somebody needs, needs the uh, house move, it, it needs to be moved. You know, it's, it's, it's an essential work, deliveries, especially uh, most of us uh, ordered with Amazon, right? So everything like I'm, I'm a great customer. <laughs> this but yeah, so uh, how, what was the challenges? Um, it was just really to the transitioning to a lot of um, uh, tech thinking uh, and just, you know, learning uh, how to, you know, maneuver. I, I think I found, um, I took those opportunities to make really the best um, out of it for, uh, in terms of social media marketing, right? So um, utilizing uh, it, it, Twitter, I'm still not, you know, Twitter is, I'm still figuring, you know, uh, it's you know I know I, I can I can talk about it and those kind of things and I, I set it up but it's still an ongoing uh, a process even I know no web programming and those kind of things so I set up websites uh, so that helped a little bit and doing Instagram I have like three Instagram accounts right so um yeah one is for the real estate the other one I'm a certified uh, a personal trainer which I just got a certification for just for fun I could offer services. I uh, just do just for fun. You know, just, uh, something I just like. So I like educate people. That was just important for myself. And then uh, we are 808. Um, it's just I, I want to uh, promote the local business. So I just uh, created something. That, it's called We Are 808 um, to to promote local business to help other business owners to you know to um, during to get through this uh, very challenging time. Uh, on the real estate side, um, the sales. Um, it, you know, they w went down initially when the pandemic started. Uh, lots of uh, sellers pulled out their um, inventory from the market. Uh, however, a month later, it was, um, it was um, you, you could see a clear improvement on it. So people, uh, about half of it, uh, uh, put it back on the market already. And uh, market prices uh, it go up on the corner side, sell side, they, of course, uh, uh, varies. Uh, but... Um, you know, I just, it's doing okay. So, and people um, utilizing the low interest rates uh, pretty much and just uh, with the positive outlook. That's what, uh, you know, uh, people have, or well, not everybody, of course, but you know, a lot of people do. So, you see still uh, the market looks really good on the real estate side. And, yeah. And it's really about making the right for uh, every individual. It's just, why would um, why would someone turn to you? I, and I want you to summarize it. I, I like I already have the answer in my head, but I want you to summarize it. Why would someone turn to you for their real estate needs? Um, like, are they able to 
is it because it's 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 convenient because you know like you have a wider network is it because you have other experiences so i'll let you explain that then well first of all you know there's a lot of realtors in the state of hawaii right and a lot of realtors are very very special people so there are lots of good people right why would somebody uh turn to me um first like it's my core values i develop core values already that i continuously have if it's obvious whatever is um, three core values, right? It's being reliable, professional, caring. Reliable, being always there, be on time, doing the right thing, what is, needs to be done on the ethical side. Always be professional and caring. I always talk about three things. I talk about my um, our clients and customers. I talk about um, our um, community. Uh, pretty much and business partners and associates so those three things we always need to care about and uh, why would somebody uh, work with me um i do you know beside of um having that promise that people can trust and know that i'm going to be there for them and do what is right it's also kind of like a little bit like a one-stop shop I, I give them the opportunity to utilize my skills and uh, not only on the network that i have but also on the moving so uh, people have access for uh, discounted uh, beside of uh, free moving services being my clients as well. So that's kind of like um, something that I offer. So on the local side, of course, if it's going to be in Thailand shipping, that would be a little bit different, of course, uh, internationally or to the mainland, that's different. But everything that I can personally control, I can, um, you know, make things happen for, you know, for my clients. Like a one-stop shop, right? <laughs> Well, here, what advice would you give someone who wants to either, you know, start a business like how you did or, or build their networks in a way that, you know, um, you're able to, you know, use it now? Like, what yeah. advice would you give someone? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question. So two things. Uh, for me, it started first with building my network. So I was, um, as you said, like 10 years ago, almost 10 years, nine, nine years ago, in uh, uh, started at WSP, right, with the, the Ralph Strategy Partners. So the owner Nash, a, a great uh, gentleman, by the way, is the huge drive. I focus a lot of network um, and it talks about marketing and educates in that field. Um, through that, I developed that network and I just went out to build my network and people got to know me. Um, you know, that, that was kind of like having a foundation and then based on that, um, a lot of good things evolved because we have so many wonderful people on the island. There's so many people that do so wonderful things, right? So I want to cry. So, you know, it's just, uh, it, it touched my heart over the last 10 years so many times, right? But um, from then, uh, I would recommend if you want to start a business, first of all, um, think about uh, it's neat. It's, it's, it needs to be a, a service that people need in a sense. So uh, a lot of people start with having a product and then um, don't sell it because people don't buy it because they, they realize, oh, there's not a big need for me to have that. Um, it's usually I look for um, if you have some, if you see a need and then you want to cover that need and develop that product for it, that's when you start a, a, a a, a successful business. I don't want to say other business won't be successful, right? So, but, but this is covering a need is always a good um, first start when you have. So, yeah. So for me, for example, people um, need a high end, I, I'm a, you know, Miele appliances. There are not so many Miele uh, high end appliances, and you no, know, it's like panels that need to be installed uh, and those kind of things for. Subseries and those kind of things. So it's very specialized where people have a need, right? So, um, and then the moving too, people just need to move. It's just, and then, uh, you know, real estate is another thing. If you want to, most of us, I'm still in that, uh, uh, want to realize uh, the dream of a home, right? I'm taking care of my mom, so I want to make sure she's good first, and then I take care of myself. Uh, uh, and so, but yeah, so I'm starting. If you, my, my recommendation is start uh, the best, uh, everybody said it, right? 
when is the best time to start? Right now. I or yesterday. And when is the second best time? Today. Right? So just getting some ideas together. It, it can be small. It doesn't have to be. And not everybody going to tell you uh, it's great. There's a lot of challenges that comes to the way. Um, there's a lot of obstacles. You, you fell many times. I fall. Uh, and then you just get up and just do things better and better. And at some point, you know, this, that's when you um, evolve. So it will take a while. So be patient is my, uh, another recommendation. So be patient and just uh, focus on your dreams. Don't give up and, and take action, right? It's dream will only stay a dream if you don't take action. But to realize that dream, just take action. And, and somehow magical things happen, even though it's not, it's just, just, you know, just continuously doing it. You know? um, that, those are very, very inspirational words, Ben. So we have a couple of minutes left. Is there anything that you want to add that I didn't ask you about that you want our viewers to know? Um, yeah, what I want, yeah, I would say like, um, I, it is a very, very hard time for uh, most of us, right? So just stay strong, uh, you know, just positive things, stay positive. Uh, I try not to watch, uh, uh, it sounds weird, but I try not to watch the news all the time, right? Uh, even uh, listening to radio, it comes all the time. You're constantly reminding negative, negative. I try to, my recommendation is focus on, on, on your um, direct um, uh, field of what you can influence uh, and, and, and go from there and don't focus on what you can't influence because it is what it is. We can't do anything. You have to wear a mask, you wear a mask. You have to protect, you protect, you follow that, right? But then it's things what you can improve. You can improve yourself, move forward and be positive. But last year I went through a lot, a lot of good stuff, uh, good things came out of it. See, I still have my accent, I can get rid of it. Um, well, yeah, just I wish everybody just, just uh, hopefully that um, I, I want to see more smiles. You know, it's so hard. Like for me, I'm just a smiley person. People always like, even like, why, why did you smile? I'm like, that's just my nature. I'm just smiling, right? Um, now you, uh, you don't see it anymore because most people wear masks. So you only see the wrinkles if, you, if people smile. But, you know, just keep the positivity and, uh, and uh, you know, look out for others. That's my... Watch out, Father says, always um, somebody that is a little bit, has a little bit uh, more challenging situation than you do. So that's my, that's my Thank story. you, Ben. That was, that was great. <laughs> Thank you for all those words that I know a lot of us need to hear at this time. Um, again, you have been watching Think Tech Hawaii's Connecting Hawaii Business. This has been live streamed, and if you missed it, it will be available on thinktechhawaii.com as well as Think Tech Hawaii's YouTube page. Again, thank you very much to our guest this afternoon, Ben Eager, for coming on the show. We will see you next time. Aloha.